Ah, there's nothing like opening up your curtains of your home and seeing the back end of a big old RV. Yep, <laughs> welcome to van life. We are waking up just outside of Vancouver, BC right now. Today, heading into Vancouver, check my mail, getting on that ferry boat and going back to Vancouver Island. My life lately has been very busy and I just, I haven't figured out how to capture all of this properly on camera and like, tell a story out of it so I've just been letting my camera run so welcome to the madness of uh, of my day 4 27 a.m. I love the mornings there's that damn beeping noise again I don't get it I know a bunch of my gauges and stuff are all screwed up but maybe that's what's throwing it off cuz like my gas gauge doesn't work. I don't know, man, but it's been on and off since yesterday, like that. Ugh. Just sitting here waiting for my mailbox to open, and I got myself a gingerbread scone from Cobb's Breads. Mmm, look how delicious this thing looks. Just waiting for them to open, Cruzy, so we can go check the mail. Buddy. Oh, look, oh, Cruzy, they just opened. They just opened. This is the first time I've ever been back this far in the lineup. Usually, we're right up by the concrete wall every time. That's a cool little car in the trailer in front of us. That thing's funky. When I first got the bright idea that I wanted a shop or a base camp to launch our adventures from, a place to put the ambulance, store some tools, and you know, a place to just hunker down on a winter day and just work on some projects, Vancouver Island was the only place on my mind. I love it over there. The only downfall is the $75 ferry ride every time you need to leave the island. Yeah, that sucks. Just got in a rack from Home Depot, and this one's got some damage on it. I've been waiting a long time for this one, and uh, I, the damage isn't gonna hurt it, but it definitely sucks. Right there, you can see it's dented. Like, this package looks like it's been beat up a bit. Scratches all the way across here, down here too. It's all scratched up and here along the bottom as well just all along this one side face i thought about putting a rack on this wall but this side of the shop is my main use side so i'm gonna need as much space over here as i can so i want to keep all this stuff clear through here because this is the rig that's getting worked on the other bay is just pretty much for me to come in and tinker around on my van. So on this side of the shop will be racked storage, Cruzy's um, little red leather couch over there. That's the dog's bed. A whole, I bought that little bugger, his, his own, yeah, spoiled rotten. So anyway, that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna get this rack up on that wall. But as you guys can tell, the shop has come along quite awesome and I am pumped about it. So once everything is all set up, then we get a mother load of tools being shipped here. A mother load. I just signed a deal with a, with a power tool company. Oh my God, this is going together quite easy. So these just click through there, and a bang, and then a bang. <laughs> Whew, that rack looks good. All right, now I don't know where to put these other two. It's 
just seems a good, good height to throw things. This one down here is a little shorter. This thing has little support brackets that go here in the middle. This thing's actually really beefy. It's rated to hold 10,000 pounds. Yeah, so these little things just get snapped in here. Like there's little holes right there. This just kind of goes, pops in there, pops in there. And now you got supports. There's three of them per shelf. I seriously love this. Dun, dun, dun. Bam! <laughs> Looks awesome. All those are currently empty. I need to write some things on here for when things go. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got a label maker so we can start uh, labeling things like. I don't remember what's in there. Water, Max Air Fan, shop towels, miscellaneous jack stands, all those are empty. Uh, battery charger for the shop with the lithium setting on it so we can charge up um, my, my van batteries and any battery situation that may show up in the shop. We have a proper no-co for in here. Yeah, miscellaneous stuff in here. We got uh, extension cords, beer from our friends over at Vancouver Island Brewing. Uh, thank you for the love over there. Um, some cloth, drop cloths, just in case we decide to get messy and dirty. This, my friends, let's open this. I haven't even looked at them yet. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys know what that is? You guys know what that is? A whole bag full of some weather stripping for my van. Inside of some of my doors is some seriously torn up, ripped up. Yeah, so that's what this is. It's the door inner part. Because I'm going to be in the shop most of the time by myself, I've been putting in serious thought to a lot of scenarios that I may be in. And because we have the storage space in here, um, I picked up a few things that I think are going to really, really help me working alone in the shop. And this little thing, my friends, is definitely one of them. I found these at Home Depot. Look, they've got a rubber thing on one end, a rubber thing on one end, and a ratchet in the middle, say what? When you're working alone inside of a vehicle and you need to hold something over top of your head or you're putting up a ceiling or something, so what you do is you put that on the floor and this would go up against whatever you're trying to hold on the roof. So what you do is you'd, I need two hands for this. So just say this is the ceiling. You take this and you keep adjusting it until it pushes, are you kidding me? Till it pushes whatever you're trying to hold up against the ceiling. Now you've got support. Oh, this is good. So in order for me to play music in the shop, I have to play music from some of my YouTube places. But right now, this is a guy named Cody Martin. Huge fan of his music in my videos. What do you think? So I have another one of those there coming for this side. But what do you think about putting that there instead of just that one? So my original plan was to put this other cabinet here. Then I have a cart, which is this mobile one, which will be fully set up. That way we can move it around and it has everything that we're gonna need um, for whatever project we're working on at that point in time. So my plan was to put the cart underneath it here, that way it has a home. Then up above it on the wall, I was gonna hang all my saw horses all nicely in line. So when you needed something, you just kind of grabbed it and went. Things like these would be mounted on a hook. That way, anytime we needed one, we could just like grab it off the hook I was gonna do that all the way down on this wall, making everything kind of like neat, tidy, and in a... I'm all about that visual organization, you know? You smell that, Cruz? 
Oh, he, he smells that. Do you smell that? What is that, Dad? What is that? <laughs> Look at, oh, little pizza pops. That's what happens when you go to Costco. You buy yourself a little, a little air fryer oven at Costco. It's cheap. It's a little Black & Decker one. <laughs> I figured that would stop me from calling pizza. Being there, done that. Pizza's expensive now. Have you ever ordered pizza? You ordering like a large pizza nowadays, like 30 bucks. It's insane. Absolutely just, I'm like, are you kidding me? That was so not worth it. Like two pizzas, $44 or something. Oh my God. I was like, nope. So when I was at Costco, I was like, hmm, hmm. Do I, do, do I, hmm. The shop space here is getting a massive amount of use for about six months of the year. And after that six months, I'm on the road for the rest of the season. I, ca I consider, I call it travel season, you know? Um, we're on the road for six months adventuring and overlanding and just seeing the world from inside of that or that. I don't know really quite quite yet. But when we're back here for the winter, I see the shop being a very, very usable space for me and also for some other people as well, you know, because I have the space and it's fully equipped with tools to help somebody with a roof vent and stuff like that once in a while, I'm 100% in. So yes, we've put a little bit of money into the shop, but I've also been saving money for four years of not paying any rent whatsoever. Zero! So we've had a chance to put together a little bit of a nest egg. And YouTube has been really good over the last year. It's only really been the last year on YouTube that, that, that the money is finally starting to come in and you're actually putting some, putting some money in the pocket. I don't have the ability to have an oven in the van. So this is like a total treat. So really, if I order pizza four times to the shop, I would have wasted the amount of money it cost me to buy that little toaster oven and buy the box of these and four pizza deliveries. So that's a fair price. Ooh, I wonder if you could run that on a Jackery. What do we got for power? We have 27% battery charge in here right now. Let's find out. I didn't look to see what the rating is on here. So this right now is set at 450 degrees. Let's turn this on, let's find out. Boom. Whoa. Twelve hundred and sixty. One thousand two hundred and sixty-five watts, and it seems to be holding fairly steady. Like some of these, some devices, when you plug them in, they fluctuate all over the place. This one's one thousand two hundred and fifty-five, one thousand two hundred sixty. Kind of, we'll say one, one two hundred and sixty as as an average. So right here, it'll tell you at twenty-four percent state of charge, it will run for 0.2 of an hour. We will have to legitimately do that test again when this battery is at 100% full. But my experiment in the shop um, right now has been running ugh, this big Jackery Explorer 1500 battery running the Chinese diesel heater in the shop. That's why that's over there. So we will give this thing a full charge and on another day, we will do that test again. I figured it might be fun on another day to run that heater for four or five hours, maybe charge my cell phone, maybe cook ourselves a few things in the, uh, <laughs> in the um, toaster oven. But that's one of the benefits I have with having this shop is we can do things like that, that we could never have done. People are like, well, can you run a toaster oven on the Jackery? Normally I would have been like, nope. But apparently, apparently you can. We're gonna order another one of those and then I'm gonna go back and cancel that one. Let's do that.
It'll be here by December 19th. I've been thinking about building a table for the middle of the back of the shop. I'm thinking about building another one of these. Just like this one. Except for this one is um, just under three feet. It's two and a half feet. I might build that one three feet by eight feet. Kind of like a little middle island. Because right now, I don't have a place to throw down a four by eight foot sheet of plywood and work on it, you know? I mean, we have these benches here, but we're limited because of the wall and anything that's in the way, like vices and stuff. Having a floating island? All right, all right. I think we're gonna do it. Not right now though, because I don't have all the supplies we need. We still need to go buy some two by fours and some fence posts in order to make that happen. Gosh, you guys, things have been super busy. Think about it, man. Like we just get over on the ferry and we have all this crazy stuff going on. And I, uh, uh. Whew, stormy outside. I just popped in here to Lowe's to let them know that I would just like my money back. I changed my mind on that on that uh, red cabinet. Ooh, ooh, it's chilly outside. Ooh, come on, keys, come on. <laughs> miserable out here today <laughs> go outside for two seconds and you're drenched my poor paper towel is just soaking wet <laughs> what a gong show man Whew. got some bagels at Costco today excited about that I got blueberry bagels and I got everything those everything bagels yeah somewhere huh? Nobody ever said I was a minimalist. I got myself another frying pan. <laughs> this one's uh, like a small little, yeah. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. It's at Costco today. It's uh, called, it's like The Rock or something like that, but yeah, it's flat. Make this fit. We got room, do we got room? Uh-oh. Are we gonna, uh -oh. Cruzy, we got a problem, but that worked. Right, let's see if we can get the toilet paper up front here too. Good to go. Look how miserable that is. Seriously, what a gross night. Hey pal, let's dry you off a little bit there, squirt. Hi. Draw you off a little bit anyways. At least when you get in bed, you're not soaked. Oh, Cruzy, we should have brought some food out for you for tomorrow. Now that Cruzy's on raw, we always got to remember to bring it out so it can thaw out overnight. But I really don't feel like going around the back of the van. Hopefully this doesn't continue again and we have the same uh, flooding situation that BC has been having lately. Like it's raining that hard. 
hopefully this is just an overnight thing because that's the last thing BC needs is more, <laughs> more water. My goodness. All right. Oh, I had a really good day today. It was busy, it was long, and but uh, it was it was really, really enjoyable. Sorry there, little guy. I didn't mean to squish you a little, little, little guy. Cruzy's new little teddy. Um, but I'm definitely not a minimalist. I've never really been a minimalist. Even when I moved into my van, I had a giant storage locker that I was paying $380 a month for, which is like half of what I'm paying for the sh shop. <laughs> But when I moved into my uh, moved into the van, I had a giant storage locker that I had full of DJ gear, and I even had my coffee pot and a bunch of stuff that I just couldn't sell it in my apartment. And uh, then when I finally got rid of that, it felt awesome. But then I just kept stuffing more and more things in my van. I've never been a minimalist kind of person. Uh, anyway, my friends. Thanks for riding along with us on this crazy adventure because life is a little crazier now than it than it once was. So over the last four years, what I have found with my days is they seem to just become the same day all the time. So rocking my world and adding the shop space was kind of just what I needed to spice things up a little bit and break that norm of a van life for me. I love being in the van. I'll never go back. Never, ever, ever go back. But it is nice to spice my day up with being able to go to our shop and uh, play around, have fun, crank the music up and just do things. Right now, I've been enjoying making the shop a shop. And uh, for me, just that building and creating stuff is just pumps me up and makes my life happy. So uh, right now, just setting up the shop has been thoroughly enjoyable. I mean, come on, what kind of, you know, what man out there, I shouldn't even say that because I know there's women out there that are proud of, proud of their own shop too, but it's just, for me, it's just, it's, I've never had the chance to really honestly set up a shop. I used to have a shop when I had my lowrider car, but I rented half my shop to another guy in my car club, so it was never really just my shop because I was always having to deal with that chaos. Where now this is just mine and it feels great to just make it mine. Make it a space that I feel creative in. And that's why you guys seen my van turn into this because come on, this is me, 100% me. When I wanna make a space feel creative for me, I make it look good first. And the shop, my friends, is starting to feel like that creative space that I'm ready to start making some serious videos in. Mm! We have a brand that I'm teaming up with to put tools in my shop and they have some really great ideas and I'm super stoked to tell you guys about it. Ah! Anyway guys, uh, stay weird and I'll see all of you very soon. Mr. Cruzy's sleeping on the front seat, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that because he's wet. See you guys.